Well, well, well. The day is finally here after weeks and months and months of whining from yours truly on my channel about my F-150 not being here. It's finally arrived. We're down here at the detail shop uh, of Moon Township Ford where all the trucks get delivered and we have tons of F-150s here. It's not this one. It's not this one either. It's not that one. Although it's pretty nice. XLT, chrome package. And it's not this one and it's not this one either. And it's not this one either. So the funny thing is my truck came in along with all these trucks on Saturday evening which meant I couldn't take delivery on Saturday. In the state of Pennsylvania you can't sell cars on Sundays either so today is Monday. Today is where we finally finally take delivery and uh, I don't see my truck. It's just a bunch of Mazdas and Hondas and stuff which means they've taken it down to the dealership so that's where we go. Now it's just down the street here. We've done this drive so many times in videos. This is my old place of work where the channel started in 2014 doing Ford car reviews. Pretty much that was all I was doing. And uh, my truck's not here either. Hmm. All right, so it's been about an hour. I just signed all the paperwork. So I officially own my 2021 F-150. It's currently being all cleaned up and everything inside the dealership. So we're walking around here on the lot, my old stomping grounds, like I said, this is where everything started. Moon Township Ford. And I'd stand here and I would review like Ford Explorers and Ford F-150s, F-250s, whatever they had, like Ford Focuses, everything. And it's just so weird to uh, kind of reflect and reminisce. And uh, kind of scary how quickly time has passed. So for those of you who followed the channel from the beginning, like I'm talking about from zero to 15,000 subscribers before I started going viral and so on. You remember all the videos from right here. Just doing walk around videos, that kind of thing. And then, you know, as I evolved in my, I don't know, filming technique, I guess, I got a GoPro and started filming inside the car while driving and so on. It's just crazy how everything has changed. Now, <laughs> now we have a Ferrari, we got an AMG. We've had a, a fully built truck already. We got a Raptor bunch of hoopties and stuff. It's just funny how things change. And uh, thank you guys for sticking with me on the journey. We now have 630,000 subscribers. To me, that's nuts. It's just absolutely nuts how quick everything has gone. But yeah, enough reminiscing. Let's go check out my new truck. So here it is, my 2021 Ford F-150 Lariat Sport, baby. And yes, it is black. I know many people are probably saying, Mike, another black truck. But that wasn't the plan initially. I'll explain that a little later, but when in doubt, you always go black. Because you can't go wrong. Look at this paint. This is a gorgeous truck. <laughs> Let's jump inside. Ooh, <laughs> look at this interior two-tone leather so we got like a burgundy-ish leather and black interior look at these seats oh this is so sweet got the bang and olufsen unleashed system look at that we got speakers in the headrest and up here in the ceiling Oof. oh this is so nice <laughs> my wife's gonna be jealous Oof! Oh, look at that instrument cluster! Dude, this is so sick! I gotta try this feature out. We gotta try this out! <laughs> what? Gimmicky, but very cool. And the reason we have that is because of this. The interior... Wait. 
Can I put this somewhere else? The interior work surface. I don't know how many times I'll use this, but maybe if I'm out on the road, I need to do some editing or eat, I'll use this. Very cool. But man, this is such a nice interior. What a step up from what I'm used to and even the 2018 Ford Raptor that we have at home. You got the two-tone leather up here on the dash as well. I love this brushed aluminum here all along the panel. God, there's so many features that this truck has that we're gonna have to go over in like separate videos. We're gonna remove this protectant little plastic cover. Dude, check out this screen, it is ginormous. Look at that, what? And I know that, you know, audio doesn't do justice in videos, but we gotta check out the sound system. Oh, fuck. All right, sorry, Tony Braxton. Dude, this is so sweet. Speakers in the headrest, what? Look at this freaking backup camera. Look at that. I can choose all kinds of different angles and stuff. Man, that is awesome. You got the shift on the fly down here, too high, four high. Finally, I have 4A option. Didn't have that in an XLT. Four low, bunch of different drive modes. Look at that, look at those graphics. Normal, slippery, deep snow, sand, mud ruts. <laughs> oh, dude, this is so nice. Oh, we got sport. Oh, hell yeah. That's where we're going to put it. Very nice. I, mean, I don't know what to say. Wow. So down here, we got some, uh, maybe we should go over this later. We got heated steering wheel and the heated and cooled seats. And just this outlay of buttons is different from the previous generation F-150. I also got the trailer tow package. Now I got a trailer brake control. Rabbling all over the place here, I'm sure, but let's jump in the back seat. And this interior is so nice. I know it's just like black leather interior, but it's just such an upgrade from what I was used to in my XLT. Heated seats in the back, tons of power plugs and stuff. We'll cover all that when I do a full review of the truck, but let's walk around here, man. This is so nice. So, sport package, which is one of the most important features, in my opinion, that you get for an F-150. It's like a $300 option. No chrome on the rear bumper, no chrome on the door handles, no chrome on the front bumper either. Got a spray and liner from Ford. Look at that, I got a full power plug back here. What? LED bed lighting not new but still nice to have got a crew cab now versus having a super cab on my previous truck I picked the black 20 inch wheel option as well uh, which I guess wouldn't really matter because these are coming off <laughs> pretty soon anyhow and look at this LED lighting I love these lights we got the daytime running light here we got the headlight and the fog lights as well so black grill as well part of the sport package this truck looks so mean from the front just wait till this thing is lifted we got wheels and of course the five liter v8 so we now have 400 horsepower and 405 pound feet of torque which is up from the 385 and 380 i think it was stock in my xlt but Probably the last generation that Ford will actually put a V8 in the F-150, I don't know, but I'm thinking it is. So of course, I picked the V8. All right, so let's jump in for the maiden voyage in the new F-150. Man, just these seats are so comfortable. God, this is nice. And I can make the whole screen the backup camera. This is like a, a damn TV or something. It's huge. Look at that. <laughs> so we got this same engine, five liter V8, more power, more torque, but now we have the 10 speed automatic transmission, which I think that this engine needs because it's geared a little different. So, Ha ha ha!
Yeah, it's a little different power delivery from my previous truck. Now, granted, that was uh, supercharged, but it wasn't for many, many years, like four years that I had it. Yeah, what a different feel. What a completely different feel to drive this thing. It's even very different from uh, the Raptor that we have too with the high output EcoBoost. It's not, not as quick because it doesn't have as much power and torque, but interior is nicer. Like I said, my, wife, <laughs> my wife's going to be jealous. <laughs> yeah, it still has a V8 growl, but not the growl that I'm used to. <laughs> oh, and the shifts are so smooth. My old truck, they were just like slammed into gear. Oh, what a difference. I like the steering wheel as well. I actually didn't like the photos of the new steering wheel uh, prior to seeing the truck in real life, but very nice feel. Since I'm taking everything in, driving a brand new vehicle, I don't really know what to say yet. It definitely, it feels like a huge luxury vehicle. That's what it feels like. We've had the Raptor for a while, and that's a top-of-the-line truck, previous generation. This is just, it has a different feel to it. It just does. Very, very nice, but I'm so happy. Well, here we are. It's finally here, man. Am I glad that I waited for the truck that I actually ordered and I didn't go buy a Dodge <laughs> or a GMC. It took a little longer than I wanted to, but once it's finally here, it was all worth it, man. I am super happy. I'm excited for the build series that we're going to do on this truck. It's just so good looking. It's just such a different truck from what I had before. Huge step up from the previous generation. And this, just the little things. It's a proper thump now. It's not a rattle every time I close the door. It's just quality. I love it. So yeah, the big question is going to be, do we supercharge it again or do we not? We'll see. It's not gonna be one of the first things we do. I know that much. But yeah, I don't wanna drag this video out for too long. We're gonna do tons of videos on this truck here, but it's finally, finally here. So there's plenty more to cover. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoy the truck. Probably what a lot of people expected, a black Lariat sport package. Oh yeah, and I was gonna mention, I almost forgot. I wasn't gonna pick black. I was gonna pick a color called Ruby Red, but Ford doesn't have the Ruby Red anymore. They have, uh, I forget what it's called now, but it's a different shade. And Moon Ford didn't have a truck on the lot at the time when I ordered this truck so I could actually look at that color. I didn't like the shade of that new red and then I was gonna pick white as well but for some odd reason Ford doesn't let you pick the uh, the premium white color which is I don't know how you explain more like a creamy color it's not the refrigerator white you can't pick that with the sport package so you know I was a little confused and like I said when in doubt just pick black because it never looks wrong on a truck I mean we can wrap this thing as well I don't regret picking black for one second but like I said I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a huge thumbs up if you're stopping by for the first time and you haven't already and you want to please subscribe and I'll see you guys very very soon bye bye